All right, we're back. So before we get into this part of the video, I just want to say if you, if you don't, ha, huh, this part of the video, this part of the video is more like just extra. If all you did was get to the last clip, you'll be just fine. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to look a little bit more detailed um, at the temperatures. So here's our averages. We got our highs, our average highs, and our average lows. So we're going to look at our temperatures and we're going to match them up. So hardy plants can handle a freeze. Uh, that's 28 degrees Fahrenheit. They certainly can handle our frosts. Our um, April lows on average are 30, 34, so they certainly can handle April. All right. And then uh, let's keep going with the hardies. They like growing in daytime temps of at least 40 degrees Fahrenheit or more. Now we're looking at the highs, really. Uh, all right, so they like, hey, they like daytime temps of 40 degrees or more. They, they can handle all this stuff. Um, let's see. All right. Uh, well, I guess let's do the fall season then, huh? Uh, all right. They can handle pretty much all of that. And yeah, so for hardy plants, I would, I mean, there's no, we, we haven't ever, we haven't put on the board like their upper limits, but I'm going to think like for, for what I've experienced around 70 to 80 degrees is when they start bolting. So we're looking at the hardy plants probably bolting around June. Now, remember these averages, uh, so for the, the average high, the hot is going to lean on this side, or for, for both of them. The hot is going to lean on the uh, end side, the cold is going to lean on this side, on the early side. Once you pass July, that flips. So the cold is going to lean on this side, or the late side, and the hot is going to lean on the early side. Just remember that their averages and the month is 30 days. It's, this isn't the high for the entire month. That's, that's the point. All right, let's see. So 80 degrees as we talked for our upper limits. Um, so our hardy plants should be able to handle September and probably even a little October or August because remember that 83 is just an average. All right, now we get to our semi hardy. They can handle a frost. Yes. We'll put the frost up again. Why not? And there really we're going to assume that they're the temp that they can handle is about that 70, 80 degree again. And so we'll put that on the board. And then, cool. Uh, let's see. So 32 degrees is the frost. If the average low for April is 34, we'll, we'll say that, you know, the semi hardies can can go into April. That makes sense. On the fall side, they, uh, average low is 25, so our semi hardy cannot handle November, but our average low is 36, so our semi hardy can handle October. Cool. Now we're going to look at our tender. They like daytime temps of 55 or above, so our highs. Well, they like all of it. Er, let's see. Yep, yep. All right, they can't handle a frost. There's a, there's a good starting point. They cannot handle a frost. All right. Um, and there we go. OK, 
Okay, so we're on to our very tenders. What we're gonna, all right, so they cannot handle a spring, cool spring breeze. They need daytime temperatures of 60 degrees or above, which is, I mean, April has daytime temperatures of 60 degrees or above, but they cannot handle a f this cool spring breeze. And with our frost, we want to make sure that they're going to not be um, uh, affected by a frost. So we're going to, of course, give it that two weeks, 90% chance last frost. Oh, two weeks is right there. Oh, I don't like that. Okay. Let's erase this one too. That's our starting point. And two weeks before our first frost. Okay. They prefer 70 to 90. As long as we hit what they need, that's fine. Okay. So if all we look at is the temperatures, we still actually made about the same calendar. And that is, there you go. So that's pretty much, in essence, two ways to build about the same calendar. It might be a little different, but, and then, you know, obviously if we combine them, we can combine them easy. Uh, plants four to two weeks before the last frost. This is our hardies. Uh, four weeks is a month. All right, early April, nice. They can survive two to four weeks after the last frost. All right, cool. So that's really the only change. Semi-hardy, plant two to zero weeks before the last frost. I mean, we did that pretty much kind of. They survive two to zero or zero to two weeks after the first frost. All right, we pretty much did that. Uh, sorry, tender. Let's see. Um, seed, let's, let's go with transplant because most people like transplanting. Uh, at or past late May, we pretty much did that. And then our very tenders, transplant June. So we will want to move this one up a little bit. Cool. And so, yeah, we, I mean, there you go. There's the calendar. That's, that's quite easy. Well, you know, you have to have some information, but otherwise, there you go. Have a good day, guys. Thanks for watching. Oh, wait. Um, sources are pretty much the same thing. Uh, CSU extension, plant talk, number 720, vegetable planting guide. Uh, Colorado Master Gardeners. And our next topic is going to be, we're going to keep being in pajamas because it's Saturday and why not? Uh, we're going to talk about some really cool patterns that you can use to make educated guesses on vegetables. All right. Thank you for, thank you for watching and I hope you have a good day.